day and I'm back today with a review of this bomb blow dryer that's safe for natural hair and of course you got to protect your hair when you're blow drying it so I'll also be reviewing Gabrielle Union's new flawless hair care line in this video as well. Alright, so the first thing I'll be using in this video is the Flawless Smoothing Conditioner. Before applying the conditioner, I actually co-washed and protein treated my hair. My protein treatment video will be linked right here, so click that for more details. This conditioner gave me easy slip for finger detangling, and it made my hair really, really soft. It has cuticle smoothing agents like argon, avocado, and marula oil. I think I said that right, but it also has pea protein as well. So basically this conditioner is formulated to prevent damage and make your hair look smoother when you blow it out. So I left the smoothing conditioner on for like two or three minutes and I didn't use any heat like I normally do with a deep conditioner. I just rinsed it out and applied my leave-in conditioner. Okay, so about this blow dryer though, it's the Conair Pro Silverbird 2000 watts with three different heat and three different speed settings plus the cool off feature. It comes with this concentrator attachment and this wonderful comb piece that is so strong and pliable it just glides through coily and kinky textures unlike other combs I've used that break or get stuck and pull at my hair. So before blow drying, I use the Gabrielle Union line blow dry cream which is formulated to protect hair from heat damage up to 400 and something degrees. And honestly speaking, it's been a while since I've actually blow dried, blow dried my hair without the tension method until I got this dryer. But I really can't recall ever using a blow dry cream or heat protectant like this. When the cream hits my hair, it melts and makes my hair feel so silky and easy to detangle. My only thing is I wished I used a heavier leave-in conditioner because I don't really feel like this blow dry cream adds any additional moisture. It just protects and kind of seals in whatever moisture you've already applied. So I've gotten real comfortable with this thing and I'm blow drying my hair on high speed and high heat. This dryer does have ceramic technology, which is beneficial because it doesn't strip out moisture, but it does dry your hair quickly and evenly, which avoids heat damage because you're not going over it repeatedly. I also read online that the ceramic technology kind of acts as a thermostat and automatically cools the heat down if it starts to get too hot. I don't know about all of that, but I will link uh, the website in the description box. All I do know is I've been using this thing excessively for like two months since I've gotten it and never have I ever in the history of my natural hair journey been able to use a blow dryer with a comb attachment and the teeth just glide through my hair without ripping and snagging. Alright, so some quick tips for actually blow drying your hair. I personally do not suggest applying oil until after you blow dry your hair. I feel like oil holds heat and it can fry your hair. I recommend using a heat protecting cream like I use here or some sort of serum with silicone in it. My next tip is to squeeze or blot your hair dry before you start blow drying just to get the extra water out so your hair will dry quicker. Next is if you just are trying to stretch your hair for like a bantu knot or you're about to just get it braided up or something, go ahead and work in large sections and your hair will dry super quick with this dryer. If you are trying to like rock an actual blowout and want a sleek look, you need to work in much smaller sections than what I did. And here you guys see me finishing off each section with the Flawless Shine Spray, which is a lightweight oil mist. And that's all y'all. I'm actually about to go get my hair braided up now. So make sure you guys check the description box for the link to purchase this dryer and links to the products that I used today. And I've been thinking about taking this dryer back out and trying some wand curls on blow dry hair. Y'all think I should do a video for that? Let me know down in the comment section. Alright y'all, it's a wrap. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe before you leave this video.